Greetings all, uh, the last video uh, in this particular series in regards to the Balance Shaft Elite Kit. Um, as you can see, I've got the drive chain back in place and I just wanted to, for anyone that's interested, uh, just show you what, uh, what this entails. So the drive chain has three uniquely colored links. You start on the intake cam with the most uniquely colored link. Uh, there are two links that are of the same color and then there's one that is unique. So you start on the intake cam, you line it up with this uh, arrow here. Uh, the chain guides are not in place when you're feeding this chain in by the way. Then you go down here and you get the uh, number one cylinder on uh, top dead center. Uh, it, you know, for my purposes, it doesn't really matter that much because I don't have balance shafts anymore. So, you know, aligning the balance shafts up with the crankshaft are not that important. But, you know, following the book, do it right. Down the bottom here, the second link, and then on the exhaust can, then chain goes around. Oop, chain goes around the water pump. And then the third link, the um, second of the two that are of the same color, goes onto the exhaust idler here. Going back here, um, what I've done is because I, I kind of, you know, it can be days uh, between when I come back to actually doing any work on this engine and whatnot, decided that every every bolt that I talk, I'm going to put a nice orange stripe on just to let me know that when I come back and I can look at the front of this and say yep done 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 for example I know that these two guys here still need to be talked da, da, da. some may say on uh, say that I'm uh, anal so be it. I'd rather be anal than wrong. So, uh, there we are. All that's required now is for me to reinstall the uh, chain tensioner, which fits into these two bolts here. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to quickly put this back on the tripod. Um, oop, if I can get it back on here. Pod. No, of course not. It's not going to let me. Oh, I've got to put it in the tripod properly. That's why. The tripod properly. That's why. And, okay, now it's in. Uh, so let me lift this up. La la la. I always like to add the music in between. <laughs> anyway. Come back over here. Uh, get some of this stuff. So this here is our uh, hydraulic, hydraulic or pneumatic. Oh, I'm just, the difference between hydraulic and pneumatic. I think pneumatic is air. I believe it is. Anyway, uh, here is our chain tensioner. So we've got to reset this before we put it in. And the idea is here quite simple actually it's a lot simpler than the um, timing chain cam tensioner uh, timing chain tensioner that needs to be reset you got to pull that you got to pull that bitch apart to reset that guy but this guy um, what you want to do is turn it 90 degrees I beg your pardon you want to have it in its install position you want to push it in, turn it 90. Mm. Let me start that again because you guys didn't see it. I was out of thing. You want to push this guy in, yeah. turn it 90 degrees, like so. And there are two little holes that line up. You want to take a paper clip. Feed it through this top hole here, 
get it into the bottom hole and then gently let it go and as you can see it's now in its reset position see the idea is now we bolt it onto the uh, front of the engine put the camera here <coughs> Oop. put the camera in my left hand that's easier We get down here, and then this bad boy sits. Oop, got this guy. Yeah, sits in here somehow. I can't remember. All right, but this pin, that's probably because I've got it rotated the wrong way. There we go, that's better. <laughs> Okay, so this guy sits in here like this, and then you release the, sits in there like this, and then you release the pin, and then the pin pushes up against uh, the adjustable chain guide, as you can see it rocks back and forth, uh, and it applies pressure in this direction, and keeps tension on the chain. It's a beautiful thing. It's an automatic chain tensioner system. There you go. And then we will be done with the balance shafts. Um, from here, I'm still waiting for parts to arrive, so there's very little I can do. I'm just kind of playing around. I think from here, I'm going to put the new slave cylinder thrust bearing dude onto the uh, onto the uh, gearbox transmission. Okay. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye.